Okay, so that's the garage. Put some uh, Lambos in there. But... <laughs> On top of all the roadways, you get another fucking... Oh, just when you thought it was over. <laughs> you know, oh, you know what they said? They said there was two entrances to the house. Yeah, they left some uh, tequila for us. Bottles of tequila they got. <laughs> hey, I think it's a JBL. I'll be jacking the JBL. Oh, wow. This is fucking cool. Cool. That right there was the goal. Let's go see some of the other bedrooms. Is a bedroom or a bathroom? Definitely a bathroom. I think we have another flight of stairs to go up. For... <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right, bed. I'll take this room. So you get your bed, your bathtub, toilet. It's pretty cool. Get the LA Hills view that we've been looking for. Let's go check this outside out. This is cool. like we're in our rooms in front of the cameras and stuff and to see like the real world yeah. benefiting and using our lingo and, and, and how we impact each other is just yeah, really it's, fulfilling. That's the cool thing about YouTube and you know I, I'll, I didn't really look at it like this until like a little bit later down the road but it's like in the beginning like you know I did content just because I loved it. Sure. You know, this is like my fifth YouTube channel. I've grew up, grown a gaming YouTube channel back when I was younger couple thousand subscribers so like I was already knew like hey create content get clients and that's how I originally started my YouTube channel but then like after about a year two years in started getting people like sending me messages like bro I scaled to 100k 500k a month oh, this is the best and I'm like you've just been watching my free content yeah yeah it, it just it blows my mind it's just like what but it creates that goodwill in, in there right? oh, and there's a lot of like you know lower tier countries that just Unfortunately, you can't quite like afford some of our higher ticket products. Yeah, it's like bro, your YouTube channel has literally like changed my life, and it's just like it's so fulfilling. And I know you you get the same. As oh, well. I do. We just made it to the Airbnb. Uh, we are in the Hills, Hollywood Hills, California, or Los Angeles, whatever you want to call it. Uh, we have a pretty fun, eventful weekend for you guys with a lot of awesome stuff that's going to be happening this weekend. And uh, yeah, right now we, we literally just got to the Airbnb. We are drained after flying, so we're about to get a little bit of food and then we're going to go head out and check out the city. Just finished up our student call. Uh, this week we focused on a little bit of emotion baiting and teaching people how to leverage market sophistication inside of their ads. Now, time to get some food and then we have something exciting that's about to get here. As promised, we did have something exciting for you guys today. Um, <laughs> I'm also kind of nervous to be honest because we were up some steep ass hills uh, where our house is at right now. But we did rent two Lamborghini Huracan Spiders for the weekend. And uh, I mean, hey, I want it green, but they only have white, so. All right, let's go put this thing in Corsa. Bro, you heard the exhaust? That opened up a lot. I can't even find the blinker. <laughs> Alright. 
way more stressful than it looks. <laughs> I know, bro. There's no auto start in Lamborghini. Corvette starts auto start. I, I love Corvette. I've had a bunch. Bro, you need, have you driven a C8 yet? Yeah. Dude. I, I like it. <laughs> All right, guys. We are just leaving Zoo Culture. Hey. What? Liquor store. Oh, liquor? Yeah. yeah, let's go to it. I'm so happy. You ever seen a sad dude in a Lambo? what's going on guys welcome to day number two of la currently right now we're about to go hop in the cars and we're gonna go explore santa monica so let's go have some fun significantly better today because actually like sunny whereas yesterday had a lot of cloud cover so actually getting that sunny uh LA vibes we're looking for. Oh yeah, this is a completely different route. We never took it. Oh wow. <laughs> oh, we're going down Hollywood Boulevard. Wow. You guys are going hard, dude. You guys are going hard, dude. You guys are going hard. What he said? He said, y'all got a cool car, dude. <laughs> there you go. Oh yeah. It's weird to be in LA getting reactions from a Lambo. In Miami, you don't get a reaction from a Lambo at all. Because in Miami, everyone has a Lambo. But LA, you think it's the same. For, the, for like an hour it's fun and then after that it's just like shit I'm stuck in the traffic in a place I don't know where to drive in a car that I just feel like I just started to learn to drive um, very fun but <laughs> I definitely think if I was more like at home in like an area I know I would have way more fun with it um, yeah cool experience though definitely definitely enjoy it wanna come to your area? <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's gonna be so many people. It's Saturday on Santa Monica Pier. A lot of people. What's up, man? Thank you. No Such a beautiful city. dropped off the Evos. We're currently trying to go get some Italian food right now. We got we found a bodyguard now. So we got him. No feel. No feel. <laughs> we are currently walking down uh, it's like the street that runs parallel to uh, Rodeo. So what's some Italian food. Let's go check that out. 
All right, we just got back to the crib. We are about to film a podcast with a very special guest, and I think he actually just pulled up. So let's go take a look and see. What's up, buddy? <laughs> hey, buddy. How are you? I'm good, man. How are you? I'm doing good. How's the drive up? Not too bad. Not, man. Too, Not bad. too bad. I felt like I'd bring my camera out, you know? <laughs> I gotta have some fun with it. And uh, for you, my man, a gift. Oh yeah? What's oh, yeah. that? Hell yeah, dude. Let's see, hold up. Let me get it all the way up. Shrupter school, fuck Roas. <laughs> Did you know we don't abide by Roas over here? Shit, dude. I appreciate it, man. Absolutely, Thank you man. much. At least I can do. Drinking some Topo Chico? You know it. Dude, that's one of my favorites to drink when um I go out, because I don't really drink when I go out. Yeah. Um, I mean, I know you're like fully sober and everything, which is yeah. really freaking cool. Um, but I still indulge here and there. But when I don't, Topo Chico is my go-to every time. It's just been really cool to see, like, you know, it's interesting. I mean, you're a guy. You're just a guy on YouTube. I'm just a guy on YouTube. Like, we're in our rooms in front of the cameras and stuff. And to see, like, the real world yeah. benefiting and using our lingo and, and, and how we impact each other is just... Yeah, it's really fulfilling. That's the cool thing about YouTube, and you know, I, I'll, I didn't really look at it like this until like a little bit later down the road, but it's like in the beginning, like you know, I did content just because I loved it. Sure. You know, this is like my fifth YouTube channel. I've grew up, grown a gaming YouTube channel back when I was younger, a couple thousand subscribers. So like I was already knew like, hey, create content, get clients, and that's how I originally started my YouTube channel. But then, like, after about a year, two years in, started getting people, like, sending me messages, like, bro, I scaled to 100K, 500K a month. Oh, this is the best. And I'm like, you've just been watching my free content. Yeah, yeah. It, it just, it blows my mind. It's just like, what? But it creates that goodwill in, in there. Like, oh, and there's dude. a lot of, like, you know, lower tier countries that just, unfortunately, can't quite, like, afford some of our higher ticket products. Yeah. And it's like, bro, your YouTube channel has literally, like, changed my life. And it's just, like, it's so fulfilling. And I know you, you get the same as Oh, well. I do. Just woke up. We're headed back today. And something I want to drop out in here before we kind of officially wrap up the vlog. Um, it's cool to stay in places like this, mansions in the hills, driving Lambos and stuff like that. But there's another reality to it or another facet to it that, uh, that you know, I kind of leveraged this particular trip, which was expanding my mindset a little bit, stretching myself a little bit more. Um, nothing like financially, I would say, like, you know, in that way, but just like experiencing new things that make you think in a new way based off the current things you see on a daily basis. You know, I've come from a small town where we don't really see Lambos, we don't really see mansions and stuff like that. And <clears throat> these types of things right here kind of make you think bigger, a little bit bigger. So like if you're at a certain level and right now, maybe you're doing 10 grand a month, maybe you're doing $50,000 a month, you know, obviously, yeah, just get better, make more money. But sometimes these can be tools to help you think bigger and make make you question yourself like hey what do i need to do to make maybe afford a hundred million dollar mansion and if you only saw fifty thousand a hundred thousand three hundred thousand dollar houses in your life you would have never had that thought and it kind of makes you level up in the sense of who do i have to become to afford that type of thing um, and just being able to experience these things lambos mansions in a city like hollywood hills and la rodeo drive and stuff like that it just makes you think completely differently. Um, so that was like one of kind of like the little things of this particular trip right here, because it wasn't really like a super big game plan. Um, but uh, yeah, definitely a lot of new ideas. Just kind of taking a step back, getting into a new reality. Uh, that was really cool with this trip.